Essentially, we started with the poles. This is, in the Blackfeet style, a three-pole structure. So they start by raising a tripod that's tied at the top. They then go around and lay in all the other poles in a specific sequence into that tripart structure in the top. Once those poles are firm and in place, they're a little bit looped again at the top with a tie to be firm. And then one singular pole has the entire cover of the teepee tied to the top of it. It's raised onto the back of the teepee and then, like a flying tent, the teepee is unfurled on either side around to the front where the lacing pins are then inserted down onto the front until you reach the doorway. I'm Susan Kennedy Zeller, Associate Curator for the Native American Art here at the Brooklyn Museum, and we are installing Teepee Heritage of the Great Plains. This is a major exhibition opening at the Brooklyn Museum February 18th, running until May 15th. Behind me and surrounding me is what we call our welcome teepee. It is a special teepee that is 30 feet tall and 23 feet wide. We commissioned it from Lyle J. Heavy Runner, who is Blackfeet artist, and it has the bleeding buffalo skull design, which is a design that he literally owns and painted for us. The reason we call it the welcome teepee is because it is the beginning of the entire exhibition and the public is welcome to enter the teepee. We're asking that everyone be able to experience teepees from the inside out and go on in and see what the structure is of this wonderful teepee. And then go on to the rest of the exhibition and discover everything as to why the teepee is so essential to Native American culture, not just historically, but today in contemporary times.